All right, guys, welcome back to Yo Spilt. And in today's video, we are going to be taking the single cam turbo neon uh, to the gym. Uh, I'm going to be doing some street tuning. I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm going to tell you a little update about the car, what's been going on with it. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Should be fun. We're going to get some pools in. Uh, I'm going to log everything in the uh, Mega Squirt so we can uh, hopefully get the air feels on the drivability part a little bit better. Uh, but other than that, this car does pretty well. Uh, as you've seen on the dyno, made 255 horsepower on 13 pounds of boost. So, uh, should be a fun little ride. Uh, if you guys have never seen this car before on the channel, this used to be our daily driver. This is a 1995 NYG. That's the weird yellow green color. Uh, this does have 2001 NRT wheels. does have a full second gen interior. It has a built 2 liter single cam, 12 to 1 compression. Crane 16, valve springs and retainers, pistons and rods. Uh, it has the old turbo off of the Trailer Park Spirit that went 1130s. Uh, the turbo is a Mamba Billet Wheel TD05. Uh, I know in the video I said it's like $180 turbo. This exact turbo is like $900, but they make a $180 version of it. This car does have a full 2.5 inch exhaust. It does have BC Racing coilovers. Uh, it does have a full standalone mic or Mega Squirt. ECU uh, and then it has the basic uh, all motor mic intake manifold uh, it has SRT4 stock uh, injectors in it so around 280 horsepower is probably the max on the injectors I think we were at 86 percent duty cycle in the dyno so we can't really make much more power on the stock injectors uh, it also has a 255 fuel pump with a 58 psi regulator uh, carbon hood it does have a different color door and a different color trunk because the other ones were rusty uh, because this is a northern car so let's get into the video hopefully you guys enjoy the nyg all right guys so we got our laptop plugged in we got uh car running we're all connected to the mega squirt
just having fun with my own weird projects. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a rich spot. I thought it was a lean spot. It's a rich spot. See, that's why you have to do street drives. You find weird little things like that. And another thing I've seen with this car is when you let it idle down, it only has like 12.5 volts. But as soon as you touch the gas, as soon as it has some RPMs, you have 14 volts. So maybe the alternator is spinning too slow, maybe the alternator is dying. There's no real uh, way to figure that out. Another thing with the air fuels is, like I said, this E85 that's in this car has been setting in here for all winter. So there's no saying the percentage. So before I turn this thing up on the dyno, I do plan on giving it some more boost. Uh, I'll definitely go run all this gas out and get some fresh gas for it. Uh, get some fresh E85 in it and uh, just do at least one or two dyno pulls on the base lap to make sure that the feel isn't too much different. Uh, of course, a better percentage of EDF5 will make the car richer, at least from everything I've ever read. So, if it's good with the lesser E85, then it should be even better with the good E85. Uh, E85 in boost, I always aim for like 1150 to 1180 air fuels. Uh, if I want to get spicy with tuning, I'll aim for 1220s, 1250s. Uh, all motor cars, you can have them in the 13s and they'll run just fine. Uh, a turbo car, especially a high compression turbo car, keep the timings off, which this motor, all motor, on the 85, had 36 degrees of timing. On boost, on 13 pounds of boost, I have 16 degrees of timing pulled out of that map. So they say it's like a degree of timing per PSI or something like that. Don't quote me on any of this. This is all just stuff I've been told over the years.
gotta remember this is only 13 pounds. This turbo, when it was on the 2.4 uh, in our Spirit, we had this turbo on 33 pounds of boost. Uh, it also didn't have a full exhaust and it uh, was a bigger motor, so it spooled a little more like quick responsiveness, but this car has a shorter gear transmission. The other car had a 350 gear trans final, final drive transmission. This has a 394. So, second gear. They're doing construction up here, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, you guys are the greatest.